Hey, it's Luke. There's one knob on the polytone synth in the new Reason 13 that nobody's talking about, and I think this is my favorite feature. I'm going to show you how it sounds. What we're talking about is this age button here. They talk about it in the manual. They say this controls the age of the synthesizer and simulates the degradation of the analog components. This degradation could result in pitch and filter fluctuations and is a little different for each individual voice. It wasn't a good thing at the time, but people like it now because it gives sort of an analog, nostalgic feel. And the most interesting thing about this is the range where they say 2024 to 1970. And the reason that's interesting is that these knobs, you're dealing with MIDI. So a lot of the time, the number is 1 to 127. But in this case, they actually put years to it. So it starts at this year, which is actually really interesting because I don't know if they're going to update this over time. Um, next year, they'll switch it to 2025. And then you can go all the way down to 1970 and anything in between. And I'll show you how it sounds. You won't notice a huge difference right away. I was thinking originally it might be like this vinyl plugin from Isotope, where if you go way back in years, you start to really notice a difference. But when I tried it out, it's not as extreme as this. And even on this plugin, if we go to 70s, you don't notice a huge difference. It's a little bit brighter. It's a little bit different, but not hugely different. So anyways, let's bypass this because this video isn't about this plugin. It's about this. So if we go to age, we've got this year. And then if we go back, if you're listening on headphones, you'll notice a bigger difference. So this is just clear and everything's the same, basically. And if you go to the oldest, you can really tell there's a little bit of a chorusy effect, a little bit of phasing. It's, but it's not really phasing or chorus. It's like you've got a little bit of like what on tape would be wow and flutter, a little tiny bit. And if you go somewhere in between, you can tell it's there a little bit still. And then see here, there's nothing at all in here. And this is just the initial patch with nothing done at all on this synth. I'm going to show you a few different sounds after this. So, so you can really notice the difference. Even around here is really nice. If we listen here, it sounds boring afterwards. You know, you don't have to go to, to this extreme where you're really noticing a difference and it's sounding a little bit off. But... Yeah, it's just really interesting. We're going to look at a few different presets on this polytone. So we're looking at this one here. So this is with the age to 1970. And then we're going to bring it. So I want to do this one reverse where you hear that one first. And then we go to the more recent. So I don't know if you can... You can sort of tell it's a little bit off. And when we go to now, it just feels like everything is just perfect. Basically, it just removes a little bit of that perfection. You don't notice it as much on this one. Let's try this next one here. So this one, we're at 1970 to start with. This has a really nice sound. And then this is what it is if we go now. It just seems so, I don't know. It just seems like if you're walking in a building and all of the walls are just very, very plain and it's just boring and industrial. And then... Maybe not to that extreme, maybe around here. And it just gives it, I don't know, it just gives it a, a nice little feel. See, it just has a nice little sound and it feels like it's just moving a little bit. And then when we go to now, there's just no movement at all. And the interesting thing about this is you can automate it and just bring it in and out if you want to have some sounds going and then just have a little bit of fluctuation where 
you're bringing the fluctuation in and out. It can give your sound a little bit more of an interesting feel. So we'll go to this last one here. Yeah, you can really tell once you remove it, you don't even really notice it's there. I might have to turn this one up a little bit. You don't notice it's there that much. Like it just feels like it belongs in that sound. And then this just feels so stale and boring for some reason. I love this sound. I think I might have to save this variation of that preset because I love the sound of this. So there we have it, just a quick video about a feature that you might not know about, and hopefully it can help you make some great music. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.